Love Island star Greg O'Shea opened up about the worst decision of his life that cost him a party with Margot Robbie. The Irish rugby union player won the series of the ITV2 program with ex-girlfriend Amber Gill in 2019. He was in the same series as Chris Taylor, who had a cameo in Margot's hit movie Barbie. Margot, 33, is a huge fan of the program and is known to fangirl when she meets any of the contestants. It's no surprise that the Love Island stars have been invited to the actress movie premieres over the years, with Margot most recently taking selfies with Ekin Sue and David. Former contestants Lucy Donlan, Michael Griffiths and Jordan Hames were at the London premiere of her movie Birds of Prey, and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, and invited them to the official after-party. Greg was also invited to the premiere but decided not to go. Speaking on The Six O'Clock Show, Chris explained that he ended up at the after-party of the movie and got to chatting with Margot. Greg admitted the decision to not go to the event breaks his heart. Speaking on the radio, Chris explained, it all started at the, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey premiere, which actually I didn't even go to. And I know you were invited to it but you decided to not go. Greg admitted, the worst decision of my life. As Greg sulked, Chris added, but anyway, Margot got a message to the boys that went to the premiere to say, come to the after party. I was in bed, I got up with the boys and we all went to the after party and Margot was there. She knew who we all were which was bizarre, she kind of came over and gave us all hugs and that which was bizarre. The after party finished and she said to us, do you want to come to the after after party? Chris explained that Greg was absolutely seething at this point. The after after party was held at the hotel. At one point, Chris went out for fresh air and bumped into Margot and the rest was history. The hilarious Love Island star appears in the middle of the Barbie movie where he plays a version of Ken, and delivers the line, and the Nobel Prize for Horses goes to Ken. However, the cameo almost never happened as the former Love Island star thought he was being fooled in a sophisticated prank. Speaking to The Mirror recently, Chris admitted he thought he was being pranked by a clever YouTuber until he got to the set and saw Ryan Gosling, who plays Ken, in person. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.